Hello, it's me, Mrs. Monroe, and my great friend, Book Mommy. And do you know what special holiday it is this week? During National Poetry Month? I do not. I will tell you. This week, we are celebrating Poem in Your Pocket Day on April 30th. That's so exciting. On Poem in Your Pocket Day, people walk around with poems in their pockets and they share them with everyone. It's a lot of fun. So if you look in your Google Classroom for a library this week, I've asked you to record a poem that you like and I've given you all sorts of um, poetry websites to look at to find a great poem. Then if you want, you can put it in your pocket and pull it out in your video or you can do something like this. This is my pocket book, and I'm going to pull a poem out of my pocket book. It's like a little, little alliteration there. Now, this is one of my favorite poetry books. It's from our Hillview Library, but some of you may own this in your own personal library at home in your poetry collection. This is called A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. And I'm going to read a poem called Always Sprinkle Pepper. And I brought along some pepper as my prop. If you want, you can get your whole family involved in this this week. It's going to be a whole lot of fun sharing some poetry. Always Sprinkle Pepper by Shel Silverstein. Always sprinkle pepper in your hair. Always sprinkle pepper in your hair. For then, if you are kidnapped by a wild barbazoop, who sells you to a ragged hag who wants you for her soup? She'll pick you up and sniff you. And then she'll sneeze at you and say, My tot, you're much too hot. I fear you'll never do. And with a shout, she'll throw you out and you'll run away from there. And soon, You'll be safe at home as sitting in your chair. If you always, 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 always sprinkle pepper in your hair. Hope you like that poem. And let's get ready to celebrate Poem in Your Pocket Day this week. I look forward to seeing you saying and maybe acting out your poems.